What's up everybody, this is Mike again with Reynoso Auto Detailing. We're back here on YouTube with another video doing the van setup tour video. We haven't gotten into this in depth and now we're gonna go into the entire thing and really show you what's in this van and what we use on a daily basis. So back here, this entire back setup was built by H2O Auto Detail Supply in Covina. That's where they build all of their setups. They also have other stores in La Puente and Ontario, but this one was built in Covina. This is where they did my full custom powder coated setup. They got the blue, they got the black, making sure that it matches with my logo and it's appealing and looks the best possible when I pull up to our clients' houses. I open it up and they're, they're just in shock. They're amazing. It just looks killer. It looks clean. It's organized. We know where everything is. We have all of our hoses on hose reels. We never have a mess out. So that looks really bad. When, for example, when I first started, I started in the 2005 Honda Pilot. I didn't start with this. I started in the 2005 Honda Pilot. I didn't carry water or power. I just had to plug in myself to the customer's house, have cables, hoses all over the place, just all over the floor. It was a mess. So this is what keeps us looking very professional. We set up properly. We don't look messy. We look clean. And that's what is sets you apart as being a detailer not just a car washer because you want to look professional you're a detailer right you want to come in in a clean nice ride a setup because you don't want to just come in and expect a client to think that you're going to give them the best clean results when your setup itself is not even clean so that's why we just clean the setup we just wash the van and that's how we keep it looking presentable so back here this is what we use on a daily basis this is the workstation back here every car we pull out we start off by using this generator. This is what starts our power. This is a Predator 3500 from Harbor Freight and H2O Auto Detail Supply built this actual slide out so we can slide it out and we make sure that the fumes don't stay inside the van and the heat doesn't get trapped in the van. So every time we're doing a detail, we slide it out, turn it on and we can slide it back in whenever we're done. So that's what gives us electricity and power in this van, which is the best part about it. We don't need to plug in a customer's power and water. Right here in between this generator and this air compressor reel, we have the H2O Hurricane, which is a sick new blow gun that works so much better than most I tried because this interior piece, so this actual piece that spins and turns is actually metal. Um, most of them are made out of plastic and have a little ball in them. So it's not really a designated pattern that it moves in every time. It's a really random um, orbiting pattern and sometimes you just don't get the same cut with it. This one gives a consistent blow pattern every single time and it's super rugged. It's built to last. It's amazing. And this one has multiple tips. This one I'm using right now, the brush tip, because I can really get in those vents and blow out the dust while I'm ag agitating at the same time. So check out H2O. This is a killer new tool that they made. Like right here in between, I also have a blow dryer. This is what we use to dry our cars. All the cracks, crevices in the door jams, um, under mirror caps where a lot of water pours out later on. Make sure that we don't get any water drips. Right here we have a fill up tool. This is for tires. We can connect this to the air compressor and fill up tires for our clients when let's say they got a low tire pressure, we'll fill it up for them. No problem, we'll take care of that. Or we can also use this to fill up our pump sprayers that also take air. Right here is our air compressor reel. This is a retractable reel that is connected to our air compressor and this is what we use to blow compressed air, to blow dust, debris, and also fill up things like tires, our uh, pump sprayers, things like that. Up here, this is our pressure washer hose reel. This is 50 feet. This one is not retractable. It is a manual, but it's not really much work at all. This is the only one that's manual besides the vacuum one. So this is our pressure washer attachment. This is our spray gun. This is what we use to actually wash cars, spray them down, rinse them down, and actually work on the outside of a vehicle. Right here in the middle, we have an electrical reel that connects to this and gives electricity where we can plug in our steamer. This is 40 feet. This one is retractable. So like I said before, so we don't have a mess with cores all over the place, super organized. Right here, this is a new addition. This is our new Cox reel vacuum hose reel that just, it's killer. Like it's, it's a game changer. We used to carry a vacuum in the side. We would have to take it out, plug it in, plug in the hose, uh, take it over to the van, lug around the vacuum all around over the place. No, now we just keep the vacuum in the back of the van. We just take out the soles, turn, turn on the vacuum, start it up and just start vacuuming right away. This is what I love about this. This is also 50 feet. So this is more than enough to go around a vehicle, 
however much you need. If a vehicle is literally across the parking lot, we'll be able to reach and vacuum it up. All right here, this is where we keep our wheel bucket full of all of our different wheel brushes, like our, our fender well brush for like our barrel brush, tire brushes, things like that. If you want to see a video on how we clean wheels, let me know down in the comments below. Back here, when I clean wheels, I recently started using knee pads because I've noticed that my left knee from getting on one knee and starting to clean wheels, my left knee has turned like really hard and black. So it's like, it, it, Randy Doyle has mentioned this before. I believe he calls it black knee syndrome. And that's just when you're on your knees all the time, um, working on a car, detailing or cleaning wheels and you get up and your pants are always dirty. Like it's just a bad look. You don't want to uh, be at your client's house. You walk up to them, talk to them and you have all these dirty pants, dirty knees. You can just throw these on and keep yourself clean. Keep your pants clean. Stay looking clean and sharp on the job. Right here we have a pressure washer, which a lot of people make fun of because it's a little baby Ryobi. This one I believe is a 1600 PSI. It's like 1.1 gallons per minute. But I don't know what it is. These ones have just been so good to me and they work so well. I don't see any reason why to upgrade as of right now. In the future, maybe we'll get a Kranza, but this thing has been working amazingly for us. It's hooked up to our water tank in the back. So it gets automatic water flow. Uh, this one is just gravity fed. We don't need to pump or anything because we have a lot of water in the back and it does put out sufficient pressure. Right here, we got this bucket fill up that H2O installed for us. We can fill up our buckets on the fly right here and we have water all the time running through this. Back here on the sides, we have things like our fire extinguisher, complimentary of H2O. They really make sure that we're gonna be safe in this. If our generator ever has an accident, catches on fire or whatever, we have a fire extinguisher that we can put out any fire anytime in this van setup. We have things right here like paper towels for like the really dirty stuff, maybe, you know, oil, you know, engine base, something like that. Back here, we have some gloves that we keep and we want to make sure that our hands are protected when we are working with harsh chemicals such as wheel cleaners, such as iron removers, um, acid wheel cleaners, whatever it is, we want to protect our hands from the harsh chemicals. One of my favorite parts about it up here is the towel rack. So above all of our machines, hoses and cords, we have the towel rack is where we can organize all of the towels and really keep them in the right places. And we know what's what and what's for what use. All right, right here, we have our wheel towels. We have our interior towels. We have our clean seal towels. So everything for throwing on sealants for claying cars. We have some clay towels in here. These are from PNS. You can pick these up at H2O. Pretty much everything that you see in this van, products, tools, setup, you can pick up at H2O to diesel supply. All right, here we have our glass towels, which are really thin, really good for glass. There's some drying towels, our wash mitts, and it really keeps everything really organized. Over here, we got some more gloves, some more uh, brushes, some detail guards. You can pick this up at H2O. They stick under your tire, so you can make sure that none of your hoses or cords ever get stuck. Extra brushes for wheels. We got a paint sprayer down there where we fill up sometimes with a tire dressing or a protectant where we can dress either a tire or an engine bay. And the doors, the doors is what catches the most attention because they are powder coated and they are this diamond plating, which just looks so good. And we also can carry all of our daily tools and chemicals that we use every single day on these doors. So you don't have to go back and forth on the side of the van. You can just stay in the back, work in the back with what you need. That's it. We, we carry a lot of PNS. We like Pro Auto Shampoo, you know, things like Iron Buster. So our iron remover, our wheel and tire cleaner, some APC, um, the Car Pro D scale. This is to D scale, break down minerals from coatings. You got a tire remover. You got some, some uh, air scent. We got the glass cleaner, water spot remover, tire shine. We got our quick detailer, which is our honey pump mixture. If you follow Instagram, you might've seen this. Let me know. I think we're gonna make a video, a full video on this product and how you can save money and make a quick detailer that only costs $3.80. We got our interior cleaner, our wheel acid. So that's everything on this door. We use all, pretty much almost all of this every single day, obviously, except for wheel acid. But besides that, we do use it still pretty often. That's everything for this side, three tiers. These are all, this one is a 32 ounce and these are 34 ounce. So you can fit in the IK sprayers. You can pick up all of these at H2O. So the IK, IK sprayers and then these 32 ounce extra large holders. So you can fit in those bigger bottles. On this door over here, we got another 32 ounce bottle holder. We got our paint prep. We got our bead maker, another spray sealant, some PNS Swift. This is a quick detailer for interiors that also leaves a protected. Our shine supply clutch. This one we have used recently for some off-road vehicles. So this is a all-terrain wash. Up here, what I love right here is our little brush holder. We can keep our brushes like really close to us. So whenever we need to clean an interior, we just grab them, go really quick, put them back right here. Right here. Also a great addition. We got these little hooks at Harbor Freight. They're magnetic. 
So this hook right here, this is where we keep our remote start button where we can start up our vacuum and our air compressor remotely. So we don't have to go on the side of the van and turn them on. We can turn on all of our machines and tools just from this button right here. You can click down in the description down below and I have a link to all my Amazon products and what you can use on there. It is an affiliate link. It does help out the channel a little bit, but that just helps us make more videos for you guys and bring you more content like this. So you can check it out, order some of these. It's plug and play, it's super easy to do. This hook right here, this is where we hook our client's keys to their car. So make sure that we don't lose these because sometimes I leave them here or here, never in the same place. I leave them in my pockets and sometimes I forget where I left it. I'd be looking around. And now since we did this, we never lose the keys. We know exactly where they are. We can bring it to them immediately when we're done with the vehicle. So now that's it for the entire back, the doors. And now we're gonna go over the side and really look what we have back here. So the back is what we use the most every day because that's where we have the generator, that's where we have the hoses, the reels and everything like that. But second of all, this is gonna be the second most used area of the van because when we do park on the side of a street, this van is facing the car that we're working on. Whether it's in a home driveway or in a business like parking center, this side is gonna be facing towards the car usually. So this side is where a lot of the magic happens back here. This is where we keep our vacuum made, this giant vacuum that has industrial grade power and strength, and it is gonna last forever. This thing we got from H2O Auto Detail Supply, they hooked it up for us, and this, this is why this thing is hooked up to the hose reel and is able to suck out even 50 feet. It's super strong. Back here, we have 100 gallons of water. It's a slim, really tall water tank, so the water tank is all the way up to here and we can do 100 gallons of water in this. Um, this one, on average, we usually get somewhere between like four, five, six cars, depending on what type of details we're doing. If we're doing like three truck full details, we might only get like three. But if we're doing, let's say, five sedan or six sedan mini details, we'll get six out of this probably easily, especially with the really small pressure washer. On top of that, we have some studio crates where we keep a lot of miscellaneous things, where we do our paint touch-ups, things like bio bombs, where we can actually deodorize and kill off um, odors and in interiors, like smoke odors, things like that. Uh, sandpaper, some paint touch-up tools, like air respirator. Up here in this top rack, in this, this is a three-tier shelf where we can keep other miscellaneous things, some other products, tools, chemicals that we use. Um, right here we have a drill brush, things like extra batteries, some brushes. These Viking brushes are really killer, really stiff. Uh, here, right here we have another fire extinguisher, so if anything blows up over here, we can if we can uh, put out a fire over here. We have our mitt on a stick. I've done some videos on this on Instagram. I would highly recommend this for trucks, vans, SUVs, anything that's really tall that you have to get a ladder on, you can get this. You can pick up stuff by H2O. This is killer. Saves you a lot of time, energy, and reduces your liability. We have some more things up here like measuring tools, Scrub Ninja Max to clean leather seats really, really quickly. One large surface. We got some things like some goodies for our clients, some do not wash mirror hangers. Down here in the second shelf, we got some IK pump sprayers. We got some things like other th other products that we don't use on a regular basis, but we do use here and there, like some Gion Cure, Gion Wet Coat. We use to seal wheels. We got all of our carpet cleaning products over here. So a PNS three-step system. We got like a wheel acid back there. We got some APC back there. Some rinse this wash. A lot of people ask us about this. This is an IK Foam Pro 12. This one I actually switch on the nozzle. I have a multi nozzle on this one. This one carries about two gallons of product. This is our pre-clean. So we use this to pre-treat any paint wheels, tires with a pre-treatment. So we can start to break down all the grime, debris, really stubborn that's stuck on the wheels, tires on the paint before we even get into the contact wash. So that makes it a lot safer. This one, we do have Koshkemi MSN is back there, diluted 30 to one. It's an amazing dilution. Uh, this thing is killer. It's super safe, especially at that dilution ratio. You can put it on paint anytime. It'll the completely strip off grime, dirt, bugs, everything like that. That's what I love about that. Right here, we have another bucket. We only use one bucket for our wash process. So watch out for another video where we're gonna do a full video on our three wash processes that we do and why I would recommend these top three. Um, there's three wash processes that I would generally use. This is the one that we use in here all the time. It's a one bucket method with just a few towels. And this is what we use on a regular basis, but we have three top ones that we use. Comment down below if you wanna see that on the next video. Right here, we got our step ladder, which this helps us reach taller vehicles, but also works as a actual workbench since we can take it out right here and then we can also raise it so we can extend it. We can throw on our floor mats on here, clean them up here 
If you saw my other video, you can click up here to see my other video on why we don't use extractors, on how we steam clean interiors without extractors and really clean up stains and extract stains. I use this bench so we can put on the mats and we can clean them on there. It works amazing for that. Also, you know, to reach, you know, trucks, vans, SUVs, whatever. So that's what we use this for. This one is a called a Werner. I believe it's called a scaffolding technically. You can pick this up at Lowe's. So we got that three tier shelf. We showed you what's on the on the second tier. On this third tier down here, this is all the chemicals, all the gallons that we need to refill usually on a weekly basis. So all the ones that we go through the most are gonna be down here. Pretty much, as you can see, everything is PNS because everything that we use the most of is pretty much PNS. That's what we go through all the time. All their basic cleaners, like, you know, their glass cleaners, carpet cleaners, wheel cleaners, um, APCs some uh, tire shines things like that everything is down here this is some of my favorite product lines pns is some of the best so we got the whole blue frame powder coated to cover up the tank to actually hold on all the reels and to carry all of this stuff on the shelf right here we also got the floors done so we went with this diamond plating floor because under this is a really really uneven floor that is just like horrible to put stuff on is everything that you put on it you won't be able to move it around because it's just like not even and it's just a body of the van. Uh, so we went with this actual diamond plated floor that's you know painted black, so we did black and blue, and we can put on our stuff on here, use this as a workbench, sit in here, whatever. You know, sometimes if the shade is hitting me this way, we'll sit right here, eat our lunch, whatever we need to do, and while all the stuff is actually out, when it's not, we can just fill so much stuff in here. Like we have a loaded van, like we put a lot of stuff in this van, and we can really make sure that we carry everything we need. And as you can see, we don't carry an extractor in here, so we don't use extractors at all. We don't need them. Um, so in that case, we do have a lot of extra space in here. Right here, this is a temporary solution until we go get something made at H2O. But as of right now, we have our paper mats right here in this box that was sent to us. So we can give all of our clients some paper mats when they drive off so we can make sure that we don't get the interior dirty when we're moving their cars and they don't get it dirty. They can keep it a little bit cleaner for the next couple days after their car gets a detail. Now come with me to see the other side. And if you're liking the setup so far, comment down below what you think about everything in the setup, whether you think it's really efficient, whether you think maybe you could change this or that. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you're liking this video, leave a like and come on, let's see the last part of this setup, which is what a lot of people talk about. On this side of the van, we actually have a microwave, which a lot of people don't carry. I don't know why, mostly because of space, but that's why we got another shelf. So we have the three tier, but we also added another two tier on top of it. So we can fit in this microwave and I can make sure that I can microwave my meal preps in here because I do happen to, I guess, a little bit care about my health <laughs> and I do work out a little bit. I like to put in my meal preps and take them with me to lunch. So in that case, I'm not just eating out every day and I end up getting fat. So in this case, we can make sure we throw in the meal preps, throw them in, we have our microwave and we can eat a little bit healthier. Um, that's where we keep our microwave up here on this top shelf. This is where we keep our steamer. We got the Aqua Provac steamer. This one is a great steamer, um, re medium range. I would say about somewhere between 450 and 500. There's a lot more commercial grade ones that are over a thousand. This one is a great one to start off with if you're like just starting in business or if you've been in business for about a year and you're detailing mobile, this is a great option. Right here, we have our magnetic license plate so we can put on um, our client's vehicles when we're doing any photo shoots, any pictures, videos, so we can make sure that we're not getting their plates, keeping their privacy. Right here, we have some traffic cones that we put up when we're parking on the side of the street. We wanna make sure that these are up and we're not liable for you know any damages. Somebody passes by, hits us because they didn't see a door was open or anything like that, or I'm walking out of the side and I get run over. If there's no traffic cones, it's really your fault. If there's traffic cones, okay, they should have seen the traffic cones, they're liable. So that's why you need traffic cones if you're ever working on a street. That's why you see construction workers um, with trucks. They're always gonna put out traffic cones. Just liabilities, man. You gotta protect yourself. Um, if, you're, if you're in business, you, you have to be able to know how to protect yourself. Up here, we got some extra gas for the generator. This is where we carry another two and a half gallons of gas. And then down here, this is where we keep our air compressors. So this compresses air. This is the rigid 4.5 gallon, 5.1 CFM. This is a twin tank. So what I love about this one is that it refills really fast. So you can use things like a, like a Hurricane, you know, the Hurricane from H2O, and it's never gonna run out of air because there's two tanks all the time. It's continuously refilling. Um, it runs really smoothly, really high CFM for this small of a machine. That's what I love about this one. And this one is mounted to the floor, so it doesn't move around. It just fills up here, 
turns on by the click of a button with the power in the generator, sends out the compressor that way, and we can blow out whatever we need to blow out dust, debris, dirt from our client's vehicles. Also right here, usually what stays on this side of the van is our auto fiber. These are some towel bags. So we just throw in all our dirty towels right here. So for example, we'll fill up our wheel towels for the day and we'll just keep them back here. We'll keep filling them up, filling them up. We got some interior towel bag right here. So we fill up the interior towels. We have them right here. And at the end of the day, I'll take them out, get home, throw them in a laundry hamper in their designated sections, throw them in there and we'll wash them at the end of the week. So that's how we keep this van super organized and it stays pretty clean. So since I do mention that we do eat a lot in the van with the, with the microwave, um, I do carry a little stool that I can prop up any minute, open it up, sit outside in the shade, enjoy the nice day outside and eat my lunch. So that's it for this side of the van. That's pretty much the entire van. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think about this setup? Is it really what you expected of everything that we had in the van? Do you think we could fit more stuff in here? Do you think we have two extra things? Let me know in the comments down below. So that was all for the van setup tour, guys. If you like this van, if you want to get one done like this, you can check out H2O Auto Diesel Supply. They can build a van, they can build a sedan, they can build a truck, a trailer, whatever you need. Check them out on Instagram. I'll tag them down below. But that's all, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And if you wanna keep up with the business on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Reynoso Auto Detailing, all lowercase. If you got any suggestions for more videos, comment down below what you would like to see next. And if you wanna see how we do our mini detail, you can click right here. And if you wanna watch a video on how we schedule our appointments, upload a Carfax, do inspections, and how I run my business just off of my phone or my iPad with the software, you can click right here and watch this video. But that's all for today, guys. My name is Mike again. I'll see you on the next one.